Anybody who's a developer knows that there's great demand for software that isn't being met. We all have friends, family members, or coworkers who ask us to write applications for them that they think will just take a few hours or days at most to write, but in reality take us weeks or months, and sometimes skills we don't even have. So as a result, people often have to settle for software that doesn't completely fit their needs, and a lot of important projects never happen. At Dry.io, we're working to solve this problem. We have developed a technology that makes it a thousand times faster to write a broad class of applications. In this video, we'll show you how. In our example, we'll build a simple social networking service that gives users a lot of control over what they see. A lot of developers have asked us for this. They would like to, for example, filter out politics and focus on science and humor. To build a service like this using other programming technologies would take weeks or months. With dry.io, you can build this in minutes. Here's how. The first step is to go to our app store and click add a new app. Now you just add some very simple information about how you want the app to look in the app store. So we'll call it friend space and we'll add a description. We'll say it's a social network with filters. And also we'll add an app icon that will make it look good in the app store. Next, we add a little bit of JSON that describes what our app will be dealing with. So we say here that our app will have posts, friend requests, comments, users, and tags. And then we describe what posts are. So we say posts have text, comments, likes, tags, and um, they'll be filtered by tags. And also we'll say, put a little bit of information there about how we uh, want to view posts, the sort order, et cetera. And then finally, we'll describe with a little bit of JSON how we want posts to look. This isn't necessary, we'll give you a default view, but this lets you customize it and make it look exactly how you'd like. But it's basically some simple JavaScript. And then now that we've done that, now that we've described posts and how they're gonna look, we need to talk about who's gonna actually be able to see posts. Uh, by default in dry.io, you only see something if uh, you created it. But of course we want our friends to see posts. So we add a little bit of code here that describes who can see posts. So in this case, we say basically that you can see a post if your friend created it. So now that we've done that, we just need to go back and do the same thing again for friend requests. Again, that's some fairly straightforward uh, JSON, a little bit of JavaScript. Um, we click Submit, and now our app is in the App Store. There it is, you click Install. You select it from your apps, and now here's your app. And what you'll see here is that you have a standard social networking app, you know, stream of posts um, posted by your friends. Um, you have comments on posts, uh, likes on posts. And you can search for posts. So if you want to search for Jerry, you just you know, obviously add Jerry and you see Jerry. And you'll see as we do this on the right that there's been this code that's been streaming. And that code basically is the code that's been created by our engine um, to, to create the app that you've asked for. So that code is automatically generated. It's code that you normally would have to write as a programmer, but it's automatically created by our engine. Now our goal here was to build a service where you can filter your posts, and here's how you do that. Let's say, for example, you want to uh, filter out politics. You just go to the filter and you click politics, and there you see in your posts, there are no more posts about politics. Let's say instead you want to, let's say you want to be totally humorous, so you can filter out science as well and just see humor. Or if you want to be super serious, you can just filter out humor and just see posts about science and politics. So there's an example of how you can build a full stack application in dry.io. If you'd like to learn more, please go to our website.